Hey guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, my name is Lindsay. What is up? So in today's look, I wanted to do a very minimal, simplistic look for you guys. Pretty much on this look, I just focus on the skin, very minimal eye makeup, no lashes, just mascara, and then I popped a bold lip. If you guys don't feel like a bold lip, you can go natural. If you guys prefer a peachy, pink, if you guys prefer any other shades, go ahead and do it. With this look, any lip shade will look amazing. It's just preference. So for me, I picked this vampy purple lip, which is one of my favorites. I love dark lips. So this is the look that I wanted to show you guys. Something very easy that you guys can wear around the house. Since we're still quarantined, I cannot wait, guys, until they tell us that we are free to go. <laughs> I feel like... I am so ready to go out, be out in nature. I am so excited and I'm looking forward to doing things outside. I'm just like, cannot wait for that time. But until then, just wanted to show you guys a very easy, simple look that you guys can do. I hope you guys love these kind of videos. Also, if you guys are not yet subscribed, please go ahead and just click that little link down below. Subscribe to my channel, join my YouTube family, and also hit that notification bell just so you guys do know when I upload. But without any further ado, then let's go ahead and get started on the video. Good morning, guys. Hey, I don't know, but I'm feeling a little tomboyish in this t-shirt. <sighs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our eyebrows. I'm just gonna fill them in per usual, nothing new. And for this, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and I am in the color medium brown. And I'm going in with a Morphe MB29. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like eyebrows are my least favorite part to do. Like, it takes too much patience to do this. I don't know what's going on with my eyebrows today. I'm struggling. And it's just 8 30 in the morning so all right so we're gonna go ahead and start with the face and i'm gonna go ahead and start with primer and i'm using the professional primer from benefit and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face if you guys haven't tried this primer you guys need to it's bomb and my favorite part is that it smells so good like so good Alright, so for foundation, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Stick. I am using both of these. I am in the shade Medium 110W, and I'm going to go ahead and be mixing it with Medium Dark 117N. So I'm just going to go ahead and use both of these. And then the lighter shade, I'm going to go ahead and just focus that in the inner part of my face, which is going to be like the T-zone, like right here in my forehead. Just because I want this part of my face to be lighter. And the reason why I'm using these two is because I was like trying to find my shade. And I just got these two foundations. And one of them is like really light and the other one is like super dark. So I'm just mixing them together. But I feel like it works. You see how like this one is darker? So for this one, I just go... In the outer part of my face and then i will mix them together all right and then i'm using my japanese brush and i'm just going to go ahead and buff the foundation i really like this foundation i feel like stick foundations aren't my favorite foundations I love this foundation. It has so much coverage. It makes your skin look super radiant, super natural, super glowy. I love this. Okay, so we are done with foundation. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to concealer. Alright, so for concealer, I'm using the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. And I am in the shade medium. That's a long name. <sighs> like a mouthful. Okay, so I am focusing more on the skin just because i want my skin to look super super like radiant i mean for me just because i'm oily i prefer to be matte but i want my skin to look like airbrush so i'm just gonna go ahead and just focus more on my face today Alrighty, and then for my concealer i am using the id brush from ulta and this one is the n2 brush okay so we're done with concealer I'm looking a little white. 
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and set our under eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And then to set my under eyes, I'm gonna use the Sigma Taper Kabuki Brush F86. And I'm just gonna go ahead and like lightly set my under eyes. And then with the remainder that I have, I'm gonna just set the rest of my T-zone. All right, and then to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my favorite um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder, which is this one, and I'm in the color 230. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this to set my entire face. Alright, so now that we set our face, I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little bit of color. And I'm going to use the Too Faced Beach Bunny Bronzer. Alrighty, and then for this one, I'm using the Morphe JH02. And then we're just going to go ahead and just give our face some color. I love this Too Faced Beach Bunny Bronzer. It like gives you such a nice glow. Yes, this is what I needed. We are looking good, guys. Definitely needed some color. Alrighty, and then with the same bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and just use this to give my eyelids some color. And I'm just going to go ahead and place this all over the crease. Just because I don't want to use anything else, we're trying to go for a minimal look here. We're trying to just use minimal products and since i have this out i'm using this as my transition shade and just giving my eyelid some dimension okay, and i love when you can use a product more than one way so this is always a plus all right so now that we're done with our crease shade we're gonna go ahead and move on to blush and then for blush i want something very like not too intense i'm using margin which is this mac blush and i'm gonna go ahead and place this on the apples of our cheeks So we are good with the blush, nothing too crazy, something just really cute. Alright, lastly we're going to go ahead and move on to a highlighter and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And for this one, I am going to go ahead and pick up Amber Gold, which is this one right here. And I'm going to mix it with hot sand. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and pick up Amber Gold, which is this shade right here in the middle. And I'm just going to go ahead and place this all over the lid. Like I said, I'm just using the same product more than one way just because, you know, I don't want to be using 20 different products just to try to do like a very natural look. If I can use one product 20 ways, better for me, you know? So I'm just giving our eyelids a little bit of shine. And it doesn't have to be precise. I just want like a little bit of glow. Something very simple and pretty. All right, so now that we're done with our eyes, pretty much we're almost done. I'm just going to go ahead and just coat my lashes with some mascara. For this, just because I'm going to be home, I don't want to put lashes on. If you guys want to, go ahead. I'm just going to really, really coat my eyelashes like a lot. Just because I want them to be nice and full. And the mascara that I'm using is from L'Oreal Paris voluminous original and i just got the black one and i'm just trying to give my lashes more than one coat all right so my lashes are done i pretty much put two to three coats on and then i did my bottom lash line also now i'm gonna go ahead and just highlight my brow bone which is right here and then for this one i'm using the same anastasia one and i'm using the color snow i'm just highlighting my brow bone and nothing too crazy and then i'm gonna also use this for the inner corner just because I want uh, a pop of color there. All right. And then if it's too white for you guys, um, you can mix it with a different shade. I'm pretty much just mixing them all together. All right, so that's done. Our brow bone highlight is on. And then just to blend, I'm going to use the same brush that I use. And I'm just going to blend because I don't want it to look like super white. Alrighty, so now that our makeup is on, I'm going to go ahead and just set my face and I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a nice coat. And I'm using my little fan. Dude, I purchased this fan like last week. Best purchase ever. It helps so much with your 
setting spray oh my god i love this fan and i am obsessed with it and kidella is like dude get me one so i'm gonna go put in an order for a fan for him but isn't it cute it's like pink and it, you can set it too or if you don't you can just you know take it with you but it's the cutest thing ever Give another little kick. All right, so we're good. So this is my minimal, minimalist makeup look. You know, just something very quick and easy. I try to use a product more than one way, just so we wouldn't be using like 20,000 products, just to do a very easy, simple look. And then for lip, I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with the ColourPop lip liner and the color drink. I'm using the ColourPop liquid lipstick and the shade Tool, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on. Alright guys, well this is the final look. A very easy, minimal makeup look with an easy eye. This look, it's something that I love doing when I'm actually in a hurry, when I don't really want to put a lot of makeup on. Hi, right, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for all your love, support, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Yes, I'm using my fan. <laughs>